Hey guys, so it's 3 a.m. and I happen to be up because I went to bed early with my little guy. And now I can't sleep, so I'm going out to check our raccoon trap. We've been in a little bit of a battle with these guys the last week, trying to capture them out here in a live trap. And success. We got one today. So there's the trap here. Oh, I gotta try to watch my light. Uh, the door here comes up, and we it just sits on top of that. And then the wire runs back to some bait here in the back. When he nibbles at the bait, the door drops. And here's a look at a raccoon. So the other night we caught one, and uh, through the course of the night, the thing actually gnawed its way out. You can see right there all the damage done on the trap. And uh, it was just a small one the other night that we had, so he was actually able to squeeze out. Then I added this here bar, and this one's chewed a bunch more tonight, so I think I'm going to have to do some late night carpentry here. And try to make sure this thing stays fixed up until the morning so that we can haul this out of here and relocate this guy. Uh, there's more than one I found too. When we came out the other night, there were two of them here in the shed. And they're coming, crafty little things. They uh, climb up the wall there and then they go off into the attic of the uh, main part of my shed. And I think it's through there somehow that they're coming and going. But uh, my chickens are just on the other side of this wall over here. So they're basically, I got raccoons living in an attic right next to chickens. Really bad situation. And uh, they come out and they try to get into my feed and stuff here. So anyways, good that we caught them. Now let's fix this up. Okay, so we're going to do some rough carpentry here, which is what I'm good at. And we're going to get another board going across here. We'll cut this. We should try to get two more, but that's the bad part right there. So we'll try to get this cut out there. Now I have to get rid of these things for obvious reasons with having chickens. I don't want to have raccoons. <laughs> It's also though, uh, they're feces. There's some back here in the shed that one of them dropped tonight. And uh, apparently the stuff carries all kinds of stuff in it. The disease and whatever that uh, can be really bad. So I've got to be very careful cleaning up after these guys. Once I get them out of here, even spores, I guess, from their feces can come up. And uh, they're telling me to wear goggles and stuff when I'm messing with these, cleaning up after them, breathing mask and goggles and all kinds of stuff, so it's got to be bad stuff that they let go of, and I got to hope to Jesus that thing doesn't come up and bite me somehow through this, because then I'd be off for a rabies shot, so yeah, we got to get rid of these guys, this is one, we'll get rid of him tomorrow if I can keep him in this trap, and then we're going to set it again, and I think there's probably a family of them, two or three, that we're going to try to catch over the next week or so. But the battle's starting to go in my favor, isn't it? <laughs> my buddy's trap, though, is going to be tore right apart. We'll have to build a new one by the time we catch a few of these in here because they just keep chewing to try to get out. Little escape artists. Loco, get out of here. We don't want him breathing and stuff in here either. There, that'll keep you. There it is. They're pretty cute looking little things. I gotta say, he doesn't want to be on camera now. He's hiding back there. Let's see. There they are. Anyway, we'll do another video another night if we get some more of them.